Welcome Swiley Carb. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why people stay here in the Kaosan Road, Old Town area. Now, this is not a Kaosan Road update video for the nightlife. I will be referencing the road all throughout of this video, but why do people come and stay here? Loads of people get off the plane and come straight here with their backpacks, walk down Kaosan Road before they even check into their hotel or hostel. So yeah, join me today to find out exactly why you should be staying in this area of Bangkok. So one of the main reasons that people stay here in this area is because it's affordable. Not only the accommodation like the hostels and the hotels, but the food and the beer is nearly half the price of some of the other areas in Bangkok. A night out here in Khao San Road will set you back at least half of many other places that I've been to here in the city. Real quick for those who don't know, if you make your way down Susie Walking Street and through this little alleyway, not only is there a few clubs, bars and shops, on the other side is a variety of food that goes parallel with Kaosan Road. It's one of the best places to go and get some food and sort of like some pre-drinks before you start your night. So if you've got time to walk around when you get here and not pre-book, you'll find stuff like this just down alleyways. There's absolutely loads of them. Whether they're hostels or hotels, there's plenty of sort of places with just nice and chill pools. And well, look at it, it's absolutely quiet. The complete opposite of Secumbit. Well, anyone who stayed at a Mad Monkey, you already know what you're getting yourself in for. For those who haven't, it is not for the faint-hearted, but definitely an experience to have. Wow, so you can see here the uh, the rivers actually overflowed into the into the park, but they're still enjoying it. Hey! So I'm just five minutes from Kaosan Road. You can see the fort behind me. I've literally just walked around the corner. And it actually brings us here to the Chao Prior River. We're literally that close when you come here to the Kaosan Old Town area. But you can just about see in the distance is uh, the Rama 8 Bridge. And I've done a video on this in the past. But for the most part, it lights up like a Christmas tree at night. It looks absolutely amazing. So it's definitely worth coming down here for a quick look, soaking the atmosphere. And well, there's sort of all sorts of stuff to do along here on the Chao Prior River itself. There's anyway. a few things missing in the Sukhumvit area when you stay there. And it's a uh, character, charm, personality. Just, I don't know, there's this uniqueness uh, of this area that you're just not going to find in Sukhumvit. So this place looks pretty cool. Coco Chao Praia, sit right on the edge. Get an epic view of the bridge from here. So another main reason to stay here in the Kaosan area is, well, the food. There's an absolute abundance of it. Some of it is like even Michelin starred. I'd highly recommend checking out Gary Butler's channel. He's done a bunch of videos, all with the old town area, the best places to eat, what to eat. Check out his channel, he'll show you all around. But if you sit the side of the road on some plastic chairs and a metal table, trust me, it's gonna be the best food you've ever eaten.
So this is the uh, the new world mall. It's actually like my third video I think I've done. It's also called the, the fish mall. It's been abandoned for years. You can just about see through into side because they're actually changing it inside. They're sort of getting it ready for tourists to sort of go and visit, but it's been very unsafe for years. And well, if you see my video, you saw how I got in there last time. So another reason is the sheer amount of things to do in such a small area within a five, 10 minute walk. You've got Wat Po, Wat Arun, Wat Saket, which I covered in a video the other day. Same with the Grand Palace. You've got the Chao Phraya River. You've got the Rama 8 Bridge. You've got the Big Swing. And if you go to the Big Swing, I'd highly recommend going to a rooftop bar there called Swing Bar. It overlooks the whole swing, the temple, absolutely everything. And at night, it's a really, really nice place to go. There's so much to do in the area. I couldn't even list them all. I've got a massive list of stuff, but literally every corner you make in the area, you'll find something new to look at or do. Straight off the plane. Bags on front and back. Front end of Kassan Road. Ready to go. So what's one of the bad things? Well, it's behind me and that's the transport. Unless you're happy to just use taxis and tuk-tuks basically all of the time around here. There's no other ways to get around the city. There's no BTS SkyTrain and there's no MRT. The closest MRT is Sam Yacht. It's not too bad. You can probably get there for about sort of 40, 50 baht. That's still quite expensive, really. You can even jump in a taxi, I suppose. Maybe that'll cost 35 to 40 baht. But it's about a 10 minute walk from here. And well, it's not always for some. So yeah, keep that in mind. It's difficult to get around the rest of the city from here. Think that can't be ignored as well the nightlife oh man it's unbelievable here at Kalsa road so much so that i've been making monthly update videos about it if you haven't checked them out do so already just an experience here that you won't find anywhere else one road packed out full of emotions is Kalsan road So if a good time, at cheap accommodation, cheap beer and well, culture, charm, charisma, absolutely everything that you've got in the area is not for you, then maybe Kassan Road is not the location for you to stay. Check out my Secumvit video if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.